Hi everybody. How are you today? It's Sunday evening and um, we've had just the greatest day hanging out with family today. And it's time to pop on here. Take four. No, I, I said four and I showed five. Take four of this vintage upcycled wardrobe makeover. Um, say hello as you pop on so far. Instagram seems to be the only one working. Hi, Instagram. Um, this is part four and I decided to move it to the top so I could show off these gorgeous curves up here. I have all my supplies back in here and I'm gonna get started right away with the golden ticket and the salty kiss. This was the mermaid tail and the miss, nope, mint chip. Hi everybody, hi. Matt, can you tell me if you can see me on YouTube? Okay? I can, but it's a little tilted. It's a little tilted. And tilted tilt like this way or tilted like, what do you mean? You need to be tilted. Hi everybody. You need to be tilted a little bit this way. Well, I can't reach it. So it's all you, bro. Hi everybody, listen, I'm gonna go ahead and jump Which right in. Is this, is, this is the YouTube one right here. We're, Matt's going to adjust the camera just a little bit, so maybe... Oh, no, that's the opposite. That's the wrong way. Oh, man. You made it uh, worse. <laughs> Be patient with this, please. Since I'm up on the stepladder, I'm at four feet off the ground in my house shoes and my pajama bottoms. And um, Matt is working to adjust YouTube. But let's get started right away, guys. Just as a recap, um, I applied the base coat with mint chip and mermaid tail simultaneously on the same large brush. Hi, Q. Hi, Michelle. Q, look at my hat. I'm wearing it. I wore it all day. This thing is broke. Yeah, that one just went really cattywampus. So YouTube, I really apologize. If you'll just bear with us a little bit. This ring light and tripod is getting so old that it just, it's not working out too well. So. We need to adjust that. Um, it might be best for me to do it. Hello. It's fancy meeting you guys here so up close and personal. If you don't mind, just one second. Really sorry. I thought it, you don't know how you're set up on YouTube until you push go because you can't see yourself. You can't see the reflection. So I want to apologize for that. Hi, Alice. I hope you're recovering well on YouTube. Hi, everybody. Um, just want you all to know New workshops are on the website. And tell Michelle I'm fixing to uh, ban her. Why? More Dion. Oh, Michelle's saying more Dion hashtag. <laughs> you gonna block her off our page? Yeah, I didn't do it. But she's posting our precious links. <laughs> she's laughing now. Okay, let's get started, you guys. I don't wanna waste your time. Um, I'm gonna start in with the golden ticket. And, oh no, Matthew, the what? golden ticket's down there. I got it. Can you get it? I'm on it. Okay. I've got all my supplies up here. I hope I can reach them. Thank you, babe. So I'm using this one right here. There we go. It's half the size of the Dusty, so it's called the Little D. Hope everybody had a great day. We had a big family Christmas for the Woods family today. Um, okay. Okay, so I'm basically doing, if you've caught any of these, this is part four, part one, two, and three. I was working on basically halfway to the bottom part and I wanted to bring it up so we could show all these beautiful details that you had not seen yet before. Um, and frankly, I needed a break from the bottom because I can't decide if I like the bottom. There are parts about it that I like, and of course it's all just kind of the base under layers, but I still, the vision that I have for it, um, I'll be honest, I'm just not, I'm not, I'm not sure how to, hmm, Describe? No? Portray? Hmm, implement it. I'm not sure. I have a vision, but I don't know how to actually get it from here to there. So I'm still waiting for that. So I thought we would pop up here to the top part for a little while. This is just Golden Ticket, and this is exactly how I did the other part, the bottom part. I'm applying it heavily here, and then I'm going to spray it a little bit. I know it's still in that messy, oh girl, you, what are you doing stage, and that's, that's all right. We're going to hang out there for a couple of more days before it really starts to make sense. 
I call it the oh no phase. You call it the oh no. Matthew Woods. Yep. Do you remember the first Christmas present you no. got me? I no. was no. 18. Nope. You don't, you're not even going to try? The robe? Yeah. Pink? Yeah. Huh, I do remember. I love robes. Got me a pink fuzzy robe. There were some other gifts. Do you remember that? Uh, nope. Nope? Nope. <sighs> was it, um, hold on, let me think back. Was it slippers? Did I buy you like some slippers or something? Some, you mean some house shoes? Yeah. Yeah, I'm shoes. 18. He gets me a rope and house shoes. No, he didn't give me house shoes. You did before, but no. I love, I'm always cold. I've always been that way. So he got me a big pink fluffy robe the first year we were dating. Uh, I was 18. And um, no, you got me a red rose, but you got me like the red ceramic kind. So it never porcelain, so I could, oh, it would never die. Oh, yeah, that sounds like me. My favorite flower's always been the red rose. So that's what he got me. And um, I think there was also a turquoise angel that sat on a shelf. What did you get Matt for his first Christmas with you, Dee? That is a fantastic question. She got me a hard, she gave me a hard time. He should remember that, but I don't remember what I got him. She gave me a hard time for Christmas. A hard time? Yeah. I did not start giving you a hard time until much later. Yeah, it probably was later. Did not give you a hard time. I don't remember what I bought you, Matt. Oh, no. I had a good job. It was, it was probably like t-shirts and stuff. T-shirts? Yeah. You always try to dress me up. Think I bought you clothes? I don't remember. I remember that um, I had a good job, so I, you might have been spoiled that year. Maybe. I don't recall, actually. I don't recall either. I guess you didn't save it like I've saved yours, but that's all right. Especially if it was closed. I get it. Well, you didn't save I'm on a four foot step stool, guys, by the way. If you're just popping on, I look weird, feel weird. I'm on a little step stool, and it's not that it's not sturdy. It's just, uh, you know, I'm on a stool because I want to work on the top so you all could see this. Um, in just a minute, I'm going to grab the green salty kiss, and we'll get started on it together. We gotta let that run. We have that's right, Matt. You gotta let it run. We gotta let it run. And run. Yeah, we gotta run. This is still the base coat. We're gonna we're gonna cover it up with some gorgeous colors and let all of these under layers really show through and highlight the um beauty of this piece and its curves and all of the good things. So Matthew, yeah. what was the favorite, your favorite part of today's Christmas party at your dad's house? <coughs> watching my, uh, yes, I knew it. Watching my nephew open his presents. So we have a nephew that's one and this was his first Christmas to really get into it. His name is Waylon Woods and um, my God, he's so cute. He's got dimples and he was saying, oh, buttons. And you know, you know how it is with all the little ones, but that was definitely my favorite part. What? Hi, McClure. What? What? <gasps> Heidi McClure. Merry Christmas. That's so much. That's that awesome. Was, thank you so much for that. $20. <gasps> Woo. Merry Christmas to you. That's thank so, you so, so nice. much. That is so nice. You're a super fan. Say it like every minute. Heidi McClure. Heidi McClure. Heidi McClure. You Heidi look McClure. good. Heidi McClure. Come looking good. Down. You guys, that's over on YouTube. I'm sorry. Thank you, Denise O'Hare. Girl, they we're still working on the base coat. We're going to add some green in just a second. We got Renee on here. We got Tracy, Denise. We got Rainbow 505, Maggie Fletcher. And we got Heidi McClure. Yeah. Heidi <laughs> McClure. Oh, super fan. Alice is on here. Rita Young. Lots of people. Lots of people. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Okay, so I'm just putting a little water on here. Um, guys, if you haven't seen the Mr. Bottles yet, mm -hmm, absolutely something that's made my job so much easier, you guys. If you haven't ordered one, they're $17, 12 ounces, 
just a little over a dollar an ounce. It's so worth it. I've had my original one for six months. I'm gonna set this back here. Okay, let me be smart about this guy. I, so know, I, I know Trish Davis Pruden. I hope I say that right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hi, she, Trish. Yeah, she says Matt's cracking me up, but we know Dion is the talent. But what she will find out is that. She said I'm the talent? I'm the talent. But we know the talent is Dion. She's gonna find out you're the talent? She will. One of these ladies will find it out here pretty quick. Really? Yeah. You gonna share some talent with us? Uh, yeah, probably. In, in what form of that will that be? Well, it comes in many forms. Your talents? My talents come in many forms, and I just have to Full of it, talent. figure out what's Renee, best, what they sweet. can handle. Actually, you know, we gotta go slow. We gotta break them in slow. It's a slow process. Break them in slow. Okie dokie. Don't overwhelm them, you mean? Yeah, okay. I mean, we can't throw it all, them all at once. Right, right. right. We so break down... them in slowly when they're sitting down, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, on the lower part, these, the section around the raised panel is what I was applying the salty kiss to. So I'm going to actually bring that up here in a few areas as well. Okay, now let me swipe this off if I can see. Thank you. Uh, Shannon Smith got her two water bottles today. Ah! Leah Gilbert Harper. <laughs> Lee, did you get one? She said, I can't wait to use my uh, turquoise iris bottle of brushes. I know the order came in, but you won't let me have them until Christmas Day. Oh, it's your Christmas gift. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, you, Lee. I appreciate you so much, girl. Honey, that's a, Lee's a character. I hope you get an opportunity to meet Lee one of these days. I hope so. Yeah, she is a character. So nice. Okay, I'm just uh, applying Jody this with the says, Matt, are you artsy? Are you artsy, Matt? I don't know exactly what that means. You don't? No, I don't. Artsy in the sense of, like, drama or painting or putting stuff together well, or... Checking off my list, doing things on my list that Dion makes for me. Are you creative, Matt? I'm basically like what Rita Young just said on YouTube. I'm like Superman. Rita, did you just yeah, say he's like did. Superman? Superman. Okay, take it easy over there on YouTube. They said he's like Superman. Uh, Karen Brown, have you thought more about what you will paint in the four raised panels? I have. I have thought a lot about it, Karen. I have not come up with a design, but I've thought a lot about it. I actually started doing some drawings, just kind of playing around with it, because on the raised panels, I want to create my own hand-painted design, uh, but I, I don't have it light at, laid out yet, but if I, if I did, if I knew, I would tell you, but I don't know for sure. I'm just getting some of this green on here, guys. I don't want it too heavy. It's not going to cover the whole thing. And keep in mind, we're at that stage where this is just um, this is just the base coat. There'll be a lot of colors that come over the top of it. The idea is that we just we never want our furniture. My style is I never want my furniture to look like it was just painted. Uh, Renee. Hi, Renee. Uh, she wanted to know what you and Q named your uh, tree painting that you did Friday night. Sugar tree. Sugar tree. We paste, uh, if you watched the other night, you know why we named it the sugar tree. Matt missed it. Um, but we, um, we have it posted on both of our pages, Renee. And um, it turned out really, really beautiful. Q photographed it on her wall. And um, anyway, we're super, both of us are really proud of it. Thank you for the hearts and the love, you guys. And all those... You know, this is day 62, day 61. Um, thank you so much for the support that you guys keep giving me. Because sometimes I'm tired, you guys. I mean, I'm real tired. Uh, Linda, Linda Hart Mullen, and I, I can put some lights on the top or inside. I was thinking about putting them um, on the inside. That'd be really pretty. You inside know, when you the open cabinet? The, when you open the door, the lights come on. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah. Depends what you put in it, I guess. But then I'd probably have to paint it. 
Yeah, Susan Barr, she said day 62 is what she remembers. Day 62, thank you. So we'll definitely get through January. And I have some guests coming on with me in January. Um, I have... I have a mentorship group of 20 women, and um, I've invited each one of them, if they want to, to come on with me during a live and share some of their projects that they're working on. So I actually will be doing that starting January. So we'll be having guests come on with us and see what they're up to as well while I'm painting. I, I, uh, all of them are working so hard on their businesses, and um, I really want to share their businesses with you all as well. So we'll have lots of stuff to talk about in the upcoming 38 days. Okay, I'm gonna walk away from the green right now. I need it to kind of do its thing. I know it's that what kind of look right now. I'm, I'm, I'm like working on a step almost, stool, FYI. What is it, baby? It kind of looks like <coughs> the trees, like a tree canopy, and you can see the blue skies through it, oh. what it looks like to me. Like the way the green is, you mean, with the, yeah. With yeah. the blue in the middle? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All mm -hmm. right, I like right. it. Right, right. right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of what I'm, you know, thinking. I right. like it. Uh, Teresa, Teresa Shelton, Teresa. John. I'd like to thank you for giving me the courage to try painting uh, with a palette knife. Uh, I have never tried before, but decided that I would try a few paintings for Christmas gifts. I'm so glad I did. Love using the palette knives. Oh, that's so great. Congratulations. I'm so proud of you. Uh, Jody. how often does your membership group open up? So the Creative Connection, which is uh, my membership group, opens on January 1st. So next week we will open up just for two days. Anyone and everyone's welcome. There are no requirements, no conditions. Um, so you're welcome to sign up for that. You just have to go to theturquoisiris.com and register under My Creative Connection. Um, and then my mentoring program for just the 20 people, I'm just doing that at 20 at a time because I do it a one-on-one, -on -one, face to face, live, like call every single month with the, with the group. Individually is what I'm trying to say. So. In order to be a part of that, you have to be a part of the Creative Connection. I only open it up to the Creative Connection members. That way, um, that way they also get a special perk of being in the Creative Connection is that they have the opportunity to have a one-on-one -on -one mentorship program with me too. What did Lee just comment? Lee, um, Lee, Lee, where's Lee? Lee Gilbert, Lee she Gilbert. said something. Lee Gilbert, I'm trying to find, oh yeah, Lee She's Gilbert. She's on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Our, no, she's on the Facebook. Oh. Uh, that hashtag more mad be talking that artful talk. I'm yeah. not the fancy talk. No, you're nothing fancy. No fancy <laughs> talk in here. Um, okay. Um, yeah, and then Renee, that was a great perspective on the tree canopy. She agrees. Exclamation point. Exclamation point. Exclamation point. Oh, feeding his ego right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Robin Lo Lovins Jefferson, do you have a PO box so we can send you a gift? Oh my gosh, Robin. Matt, will you put that on your to-do list to go get a PO box open for us? Yeah, I'll get on that. Okay, thank you. Can you do it tomorrow? Sure. I'm just teasing, but Robin, you've asked me that, and I'm so sorry we have yet to do that, but I do need to do that, and so we're going to put on the to-do list while we're on vacation to run up there and get a P.O. box open. Thank you for asking. You're so, so generous. Don't forget about me. Something else I want you to... Oh, don't forget Matt if you're sending me something, he says. So, um, thank you, Jody, for asking, hun. Um... I also, I don't just apply paint with this, guys. I actually distress the piece as well with this so there's no sanding involved. I can do, literally do it right here in my studio. So while the paint is wet, um, I can literally just scrape right here and I've pulled the paint off and then I wipe it, um, which is really far down there to wipe it at this point. What do you mean? Because um, I, I distress. So while it's wet, I just hit the edges with it to distress it as well. So this little guy serves many purposes when it comes to my artwork. 
I won't forget you, Matt, says Robin Jefferson. Thanks, Robin. <laughs> So this was part four. A, a P.O. box would be great. Oh, Mara, thank you so much. You guys are too nice. Carol um, Mills, she says, this piece looks like a story developing, dot, 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 mm -hmm. like a secret garden, possibly. Yep, I'm going to hand paint some little design on the doors. So um, I've just, I've got to, I've got to practice it, but I've got time because I really need to get the base all set up the way that I want it. Um, before I start working on the raised panel. So right now I'm just going to kind of leave them as they are with um, I'll, I'll, I'll end up doing the same thing I did to the bottom, but I may want to bring in some bohemian blue guys um, I know I said I was going to use Blue iris on every piece this year. Well, I'm almost at the end of the year I'm still going to use it in my design, but I think the base needs some bohemian blue So that's where we could be going the direction of a lot darker like Monet's garden. Yay! we're still on Monet's garden. Isn't that so fun? We still get to use that reference as much as we want. I'm telling you, I've not seen a more beautiful garden. I've not seen a more beautiful garden. That was one time, um, one of the many times where I thought, God, I wish Matt was here. I wish Matt was here. When? At Monet's garden, just so you could see. Oh, like plant. literally. Literally, I wish there. you could. Okay. Yes. I was about to say, I've seen paint Monet's garden. No, I just mean literally I wish you were there with me in Paris when we were there because that's just, it's really, it's really not, it's not in my realm of description words. I just couldn't quite, um, thank you Q. Um, Lolly Lolly on the YouTube. Lolly I'm Lolly? Going, lolly Lolly. Lolly Lolly, I love I like it Lolly. Lolly Lolly. Lolly Lolly. Uh, I'm going to do my wood dresser. I want orange and blue. Any other recommendations for more colors in the base? On, the, on her dresser? Okay, I'll read it again. Yes, read it again. Um, I'm going to do wood dresser. I want orange and blue. Any other recommendations for more colors in the base? Um, well, I think a bright yellow might be fun. And then I also think maybe adding a copper. And... You can even do like a dark teal with the blue, like what shade of blue? I'm curious what shade of blue, because in my mind I see the teal with the turquoise being a really pretty compliment too. So I'm going to go down a step, guys. Hold on. Uh, Carol from Kate. Hi, Carol. She's here all the time. How long do, you, do I have to wait from when I put the wax on to putting stuff on it? Like, I guess she's talking about, like, uh, staging it. Okay, well, as far as staging, you can do it right away. I, I go for the staging within 24 hours. As far as if you were selling it with a customer, you would want to give it a week or so, at least to allow the wax to really cure before they started using it on a regular basis. Um, other pieces, if it's a rarely highly used piece, um, you want to give it 30 days to completely cure before they actually start piling stuff on. Um, that's always the best bet. Uh, Leah Gilbert commented on that, said maybe a little bit of uh, okay. coral would be great uh -huh. with that dresser. Sure thing. Um, I have one here, uh, Laura Martinez. Laura Martinez. She says, I'm not an artist, but I would love to learn how to paint. Figured you might have something to say about that. Yeah. Well, uh, my, my best advice for that is you probably are, are already an, an artist and you don't realize it. Um, with painting furniture, um, the best advice I can give you is just to kind of jump in there and you've got to learn the texture, you've got to learn the application, you have to learn are you heavy handed with the paint, do you load your paint heavily, you've got to work through all of that, what works for you. Um, and Lolly Lolly comes. down the road in Plano. She should come see us. Oh, in, uh... Lolly Lolly, I'm going to be in McKinney, Texas, March 21st. Maybe you can come out. Maybe you can come out. That would be amazing. Okay, one last thing before we go. I need to get this going today so it has time to rest. Rest. <sighs> Dry and set up is what I meant to say. Oh, freak out. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. What's the song, right? Oh, yep. freak out. Everybody see that? But you don't want to freak out. Mm -hmm. There's don't, no need to. Don't freak out. There's no need to. Oh, 
Now we got Bridget Sand popping in. Hi, Cindy Palmer. <laughs> Carol said, thank you, it's for my guest room, but I wanted to put stuff on it now. Oh. Now she's got to wait. You got to wait, sis. <laughs> I mean, you can set it on there, but don't just, don't just leave it. You can set it on there to take pictures or stuff like that, but don't leave it on there yet. Oh, uh, Lori Abram. She hi, says, Lori. hi, happy dance. My grown son came home and wants to do art over the holiday. Oh, my goodness, you lucky girl. Lucky mama. Congratulations. Enjoy your time with him. Lolly Lolly says she'll be there. Come see us. She will be In there? Texas, she says I'll be there. Exclamation point. So she better be there. All right. Thank you. I can't wait to meet Lolly Lolly. And you have to make sure you say your name that way so we can identify you with your screen name on YouTube. All right. I'm using the brayer to just roll this bohemian blue on and give it a funky texture. Okay. I'm going to do this side over here. Have the song ready, Woods. Which one? What? Aww. Freak out. Aww. Freak out. Oh, wow. <laughs> Sound a little bit like Iris. I like it. Matt? Tracy. Tracy on YouTube, or excuse me, Facebook. She said, I always freak out when you do that, but I always love it. Aww. And Teresa would like to know the uh, rolling tool and is, what is the rolling tool you're using after spraying the water? It's called a brayer, B-R-A-Y-E-R. -E and it's from IOD, which stands for Iron Orchid Designs. It's a brayer. It's just a rubber rolling pad. Love it. And I'm not using it for what it's intended to be using for. That's uh, true story of my art life. Beautylicious, you inspired, you inspired me so much that I purchased acrylics and oils to paint some flowers. Oh my gosh! Now I just need to know how to use them. <laughs> <laughs> you just get started, that's you how you do it. Try, you just man. get started. I started trying to roll watercolor a couple of weeks ago, and I sat down and I did a couple last night. Here, hand me that book, babe. Let me show them one. Which I book? Did with a bird. Oh. Although that might be a hint. Yeah, do we really want to show them? Yeah, because I'm not. I'm Maybe not. we can show them after you do it and say, this is what I was talking about at the United States. No, I'm going to show them now. All right, all right. I got to change the set. Fine. This was one of my doodles that I was envisioning for the raised panels. It has to kind of go with this theme a little bit. Um, uh, this is watercolor, and this was part of my design. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, it's terrible looking on Facebook, but it looks pretty good on Instagram and YouTube. Hold it. Can you hold it a little closer? Yeah, but I think we need to shut the light off. Can you twist the knob on the this light right here? Okay. A little bit more. Just go ahead and turn it off. There we go. So you can see it just a little bit better. This was kind of my doodling. Uh, it has a little bit of folk inspired. So I was thinking birds with a little bit of folk design for the top raised panel. So this was just me doodling yesterday with my watercolors. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you for the hearts, you guys. Um, so it kind of gives you an idea of what I have in mind, but I still need to perfect this quite a bit, as you can see. I'm a novice. I'm also a novice at watercolors. Um, yeah, I had this good, and then it got way out of hand, and I just turned the page and said, I'm going to walk away from that right now. Um, did you drive all the way home after FNL? Carol, I went to the hotels. I went off to the hotel and stayed there. I did not drive all the way home. I hate driving at night on the highway. So no, I uh, went over to the to the Holiday Inn there and got up in the morning and Q and I had breakfast at Panera and then I drove home. Um, you love the birdie? I love folk art, but I'm not sure I'm gonna go that direction or not. I could take a different direction. I just kind of came up with that and thought it was kind of fun, but let's just think about how many birds. How many birds? I sang to you twice, Q. I don't want to do it again. It's easier when you're with me. And I'm on YouTube and Instagram. They won't get it. Um, but no, happy birthday, Queen Allen. I've all shoved out. She's on Friday Night Live with me most Fridays um, for the last two years. And today is her birthday. She's like 32 or something. Um, wonderful. Uh, you, he, you got lucky, Q. He missed that. What? Nothing. Her birthday song? Yes. She wouldn't know if we'd sing her birthday song. We already did. She wasn't on. 
Oh yeah, it was, we did it before She's gonna go back and watch the replay. <laughs> no. Um, I was singing happy birthday to Q. Happy birthday to Q. It was pretty cute, it was pretty good. Um, you guys, I'm gonna let you go. I think I'm gonna go take a hot bath and um, I get to sleep in. Oh, love you, Q. Uh, take a bath and sleep in in the morning because the kids are out. And um, I still have coaching calls to do tomorrow. I've got training to do in, in my Empowered by Design group. Um, but I'm going to be here Christmas Eve. We'll be here live tomorrow night working on this. But also Christmas Eve, we're going to make cookies with you all. So you got to join us in our kitchen. Oh, we are going to do that live? We're going to do it live and show everybody what great cookie makers we are. We're, we're going to go live good. from the kitchen. Uh, we're not, honey. We're not good. I know. We stink. We're terrible. It'll, it'll be a catastrophe. We're terrible at making cookies, but that's what we're going to do. So you want a little piece of what Matt and Dion can do with sprinkles and icing? Yeah. Join us. It'll be Christmas Eve at our house for our live um, after we see Star Wars. So we can talk about that too. Um, Q says she loves us both. Mwah. Hope you had a great day. Hope you had a great birthday, Q, and everybody else. Um, happy Sunday, and we'll see you tomorrow. Now start your Monday morning on fire. Like, whoa, not, 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 not literally, literally on fire. Just but wake just start up. it. Oh, you should tell them about that, how to wake up. How to wake up? Yeah. Remember, you, you, do, you, go, you, you think you're a rocket ship. You're laying in bed. You don't really want to get out of bed. Then all of a sudden. Oh, you're Mel Robbins talking now. Yeah, then, yeah you get in there, and then you're laying there, and you go, I got to get up. I got to get up. And you go, five, four, three, two, one. And then you get out of bed. You launch yourself out I'm like so a bad. rocket. That's Mel Robbins talk right there, honey. That's you remember good stuff. You were listening. But you never do that. I, 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 you don't. I you too. don't rock it in it. Well, when I say Matt, you're gonna get. You're gonna be late taking hold, and then you rock. <laughs> <laughs> then you do. But no, that's a great advice. Everybody sending cute messages. Thank you, YouTube. Thank you, Instagram. And I cannot push the buttons because they're too far. So. Oh, Karen Brown. Uh, Karen I'm sorry. Brown. She keeps asking about Abby. I, I'm sorry, Karen. I, sh I saw your message earlier, so. Karen Brown, so sorry. Um, I can't really see very well because we have two ring lights, and so it kind of blinds me a little bit. Um, Abby is doing so much better. She was limping up here at her shoulders, and um, I wasn't sure if she had pulled something, and it seems that's what she did. This house has so many squirrels outside, and they run along the, there's like a, a concrete fence along the back, and they just, they have a heyday with her. And I just think she overexerts herself. And so she's not limping today, Karen. You are such a gem for asking about her. Thank you so much. I am going to get down and then get back up. No, I can, I can, I can reach. Good night. Good night. Oh.